years, and now he's calling him out and other players connected to the scandal. This turns bad players good, good players great, great players into Hall of Famers. I absolutely believe that. Anybody that tells you different is lying. This is, there's a reason to do this. And this is basically what you're seeing are professional athletes choosing the money over their integrity and their legacy. And they're doing it time and time again. All right, with that in mind, A-Rod is the other face connected to the biogenesis scandal. Uh, how will the latest development with Braun impact him. Stephen A., you have some information. We don't know yet because I got to tell you, Skip, I'm walking into the studio about 25, 30 minutes ago, uh, right before I did Sports Center, and I get a call from some associates of Alex Rodriguez. And they say, quote, if th this notion that baseball has more evidence on Alex Rodriguez than they do on Ryan Braun, you got another thing coming if you believe that. And people have another thing coming if they don't, if they don't think we're going to challenge that and we're going to fight that because we intend to. They also take the position that Major League Baseball is working in conjunction with the New York Yankees. And they said, don't think for one second that the New York Yankees are gonna walk away from this unscathed either because they believe it's a proverbial witch hunt in terms of their willingness to come after Alex Rodriguez because they're trying to get out, out from under the $98 million obligation. Now, obviously, I don't cover baseball, okay? I leave that to the great guys that do it, and I'm not but here to... But you are on 98.7 I am FM on 98.7 FM in New York City. Mm -hmm. We discuss baseball from time to time, and we mm -hmm. definitely discuss my New York Yankees. I have not spoken to the Yankees. I have not spoken to Major League Baseball. It's important to point out that the information that I'm giving you is simply based on a phone call that I received while en route to studio to work this morning less than a half hour ago. And their position is simple. The Yankees and Major League Baseball, it is their belief that they're working in conjunction with one another, that the Yankees are on a mission to get out from under the $98 million obligation left on Alex Rodriguez's contract in the after, after this season expires, and they are going to challenge this it come hella high water. They're like, Stephen A., we are not going away. Mm -hmm. And we are not Ryan Braun. And if anybody believes otherwise, they have another thing coming. So that's their position. That's them calling me to tell me that. Okay. Me personally, I'm of the mindset. If Alex Rodriguez is guilty, he's got to pay a price like everybody else. I don't recall him doing what Ryan Braun has done. I know he's lied to folks, but I don't recall him trying to throw people under the bus to get their careers snatched away from them but at the same time if you're Alex Rodriguez and you get paid this money and you're found to be guilty you know that's the position they're going to take and people are going to have to deal with that but I'm telling you their position is we are going to fight sure. this um, and that's what I'm that's okay. that's all I can all tell right. you okay that is no surprise all right they should want to fight this mm -hmm. we're about to be joined in our next segment by TJ Quinn mm -hmm. one of the top reporters in this field who has been reporting on Sports Center. exceptional that baseball has far more on Alex Rodriguez right. than it had on Ryan Braun, right. including perhaps some sort of interference with the investigation, as in witness tampering, as in obstruction of justice, that would be piled on top of the, the offenses alleged with biogenesis. So my point is, Stephen A., I think baseball will seek a lifetime ban on Alex Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. Will that stand up in the Court of Appeals in baseball? I doubt it, but again, do they have enough evidence to hang that all on Alex Rodriguez? I would think yes. So he will, and in, in ESPNNewYork.com is now reporting that Alex is trying to plea out of his charges as we speak. Well, I'm sure he is, but I'm going to be fascinated to see just how hard baseball can come down on A-Rod now that the door has been opened by Ryan Braun. Why That's do, my point. Why do you go as far as saying a, a lifetime, lifetime ban? ban? Because I think they've wanted it for a long time, which is why they have been in concert with the New York Yankees. They have been trying to keep a-Rod off the field as long as possible so that they can get all their ducks in a row, get Ryan Braun out there, right. get, get this all released, which it just did. Mm -hmm. The next big domino to fall clearly is Alex Rodriguez. Let me be clear. Mm -hmm. We both know, we all know what a big Yankee fan I am. Mm -hmm. I've, pinstripes, I mean, that's what it's, so it's all about. All right, no question about it. Let me be clear about the position that I'm taking. The New York Yankees 
See, to me, I separate Major League Baseball and the New York Yankees. No matter what position they take with Alex Rodriguez, to me, Major League Baseball has made it clear they'll go after any and anybody to rid this sport of performance-enhancing drugs. That's been Commissioner Selig's battle cry. He's been going for it. I can't knock Major League Baseball for any position they're taking. I don't want to hear from the New York Yankees. I understand you signed Alex Rodriguez to that 10-year extension in 2007. I understand that it wasn't until February of 2009 that he acknowledged that he used performance-enhancing drugs for two years in Texas and all of this other stuff. I also remember Alex Rodriguez being embraced by the New York Yankees. Maybe it's a bit extreme to say with open arms, but the way he was balling at that particular time, they certainly didn't seem unhappy to have him in a New York Yankees uniform. They certainly didn't seem unhappy to have him in the New York Yankees uniform when he showed up in the postseason for the first time in his career in terms of how he performed. He was balling, okay? So the reality of the situation is if you stood up and support him then, even in the aftermath of signing him to a 10-year deal, even in the aftermath of him acknowledging at one point in time he had used PEDs even though he alleges it was with the Texas Rangers and not with the New York Yankees. The reality of the situation is, is that you now find yourself in a position where you have made a bad deal. Now, you've got people out here, and I don't mean to engage in hyperbole or anything like that, but it is necessary to point this out. There are far more vicious crimes that have taken place in this world for people to save themselves far less money than $98 million. Mm. So if you're the New York Yankees yep. and you have an opportunity to save $98 That's million dollars or friends. more, what extent are you willing to go to in order to do this? Sure. These are the kind of questions mm -hmm. that have to be asked. And all I'm saying is, on the subject of PEDs, Alex Rodriguez, at some point in time, is going to have to answer that call. All of those cat calls calling for some level of acknowledgement as to what you did and did not do. And when that day comes, I intend to be there. But until that time, the notion that the New York Yankees have every right to be as much in an uproar as Major League Baseball is something I would challenge because even before 2007, people were saying, why would you give a 10-year deal okay. to anybody? All right. and I, and I, and I, clearly, right. the Yankees are hoping to right. undo the monumental mistake they made That's right. with this due process here, right. depending on what the penalty is for A-Rod. Maybe the realistic ban would be just for next season. As opposed to okay, one, one okay. season. Okay, what is he now, 38? 38. Right? Okay, so he'd be 39. At some point, he's going to be so broken down, it appears, that, that he might opt to just say, I just can't About do this I, anymore. Yeah, yeah right. I'm, I'm gone, right? right. That, that, that's entirely right. or, or possible. Or so disgraced he would say, that, that, I'm out. That's right. entirely right. possible. But what I'm saying to you is there's no evidence that Major League Baseball worked in conjunction with the Milwaukee Brewers. There's no evidence that Major League Baseball worked in conjunction with any of the teams as it pertains to the players they were going after. So you consult with them, you talk sure. with them, but you ultimately do what you have to do. MLB for is doing for, what it for, has for to For Major do. League yeah. Baseball. Right. What I'm trying Definitely. to say is that if you go from 65 games, mm -hmm. to take your analogy, mm -hmm. if you go from 65 games for Ryan Braun to a lifetime ban for Alex Rodriguez, we all need to have a problem with that. That's a, I mean, that, that, that's, that's an ocean apart. That's an ocean apart. Okay. And clearly... That can't be proven in this regard. You have no justification to go that far. Okay. If you wanted to give, I'm not, and I'm not advocating anything because I want to hear from Alex Rodriguez. I want to hear Major League Baseball's evidence. I want to hear all of this. But if you went from 65 to 100 games or something like that, nobody's going to sneeze at that. If you went from 65 games to an entire season, I don't think anybody would okay. sneeze at that. You want to go a lifetime ban? Okay. That's a different ball game. You know who I want to hear That's from? That's a different ball game. T.J. Quinn. Let's layer this Thanks debate you. if the evidence on A-Rod is, quote, far beyond.